Hello, it's Monday, 11 p.m. I just got back from school, basically spent the whole day at school again, which is good because I was very productive, had lecture this morning, had our last neuro lab group. We went over a lot of cases related to the thalamus. We also went through um, the thalamus, the globus pallidus, internus and externus pathways in terms of glutamate and GABA, stimulating and inhibiting the thalamus and yeah basically cases related to that i didn't do a lot this weekend so i have a lot of catching up to do this week and i did a lot today i can tell my brain's really tired because it's hard for me to form sentences so i'm gonna uh finish my onk reviews for the day go to bed and then i'll see you guys tomorrow you know when you get up on the wrong foot that's what today feels like that's what it started out with um i had omm this morning i didn't really like the techniques that we were doing this morning we did blt for the lower extremity which is balanced ligamentous tension which is basically the idea that there's different muscle tensions pulling on a joint what you do is you position the joint and the bone in the joint in such a way that there's equal tension from the muscles on all the sides and you hold in that position and you wait for the body to relax and release and balance the joint out. In theory, sounds great. It didn't really feel like that when I was doing it. I didn't really feel a difference. And yeah, that was the first three hours of the day and now I'm back. There's a neurosurgery lecture that's two hours that's for us to watch on our own time and I'm actually really excited to see what that's about. So I think I'm gonna watch that and hopefully get in a better mood. Our eyes probably die. So this thing lights up the dye, it's like a bright ball, and it's a little tail. It's not in the brain, so it's just long and durable. Uh, this is this would be classic sort of medicine. Said dystonia. Okay, you know what dysp dysphagia is? I don't know what dysphagia and dysphagia is. It sounds like what I thought that is. <laughs> it just kept changing. <laughs> okay. Dysphagia is difficulty walking, especially due to a nervous lesion. It's just the same thing as a taxi. <laughs> Tuesday, 11 p.m. I'm back from school. I worked on some more cases and my day did turn around because I took a nap and after that I felt better. I think my brain was just getting fried. I feel like I wasn't super productive today. I don't know why yesterday I feel like I accomplished so much. Probably to the point that I fried my brain and then today I felt like I just, I don't know, I didn't, wasn't as productive today. So at least tonight I want to finish the illness scripts that I have. I currently have 300 cards that are reviews, 83 cards that are new illness scripts that I've pretty, pretty much only seen one time when I read over them um, in their like full website breakdown. And then I still have I think 20 illness scripts left for this week. So I have to read through those and then do those Anki cards and I don't know how many cards that'll end up adding on. But I want to do all that tonight so at least I can have one pass through all the illness scripts. I'm heading over to school. We have a four hour review with one of our, or with the main neuro professor. And I missed the farm lecture today, but I watched the sketchy videos for it already. And there were only like three sketchy videos that covered those two hours for the most part. So I hope that's good enough. I really hope this four hour review is good. And if not, I'm just gonna be doing Anki during it as I like passively listen, so. I'm back from school, still have a lot of studying left to do, so I'm gonna be up for a while tonight. Four days until the exam, and this always happens, but I feel like I never stress enough until a couple days before the exam, and then it all just hits me, and I go into like panic mode. So we were doing a lot of the practice cases today, and I'm just not scoring well in them yet. And there's still a lot of them left, to do for practice and there's still a decent amount of time left four days two full days because of the weekend and i know i'm gonna get the hang of it but right now it feels like like i i can't do the cases i don't i don't know that well enough but then i also don't know the radiology and the gross anatomy that well either and i was focusing on that today and i still get a lot wrong and then i don't know the tracks that well and there are just so many other parts that i feel like i don't know well enough so i'm feeling overwhelmed and i have a lot of work to do um 
Another thing is Surgery Club that I'm a part of hosts anatomy reviews for first years and and I signed up to teach at one of the stations so I'm going to be doing the posterior arm and forearm and that's going to include the origin and the insertion of the muscle, the function, the perfusion, and the innervation and it's been a year and I have to review that stuff and make sure that I know it well enough to be able to teach. So that's going to be on Friday and I want to do a quick look over that stuff today too. And I'm really excited to do it. I love teaching. I want to be able to teach. I really like anatomy. I'm looking forward to doing that, but it's just another thing that I now have to review because I want to make sure that I'm good at it and that I'm teaching it correctly. And it's just another thing on my plate, but I'm happy to do it. It's just going to take some time. And thanks to Becca for leaving her Netter's Anatomy book here for me that I'm now going to use to um, look over the muscles. I didn't anticipate last year that I would be teaching this to somebody this year. I don't really take nice anatomy notes like a lot of people do and make charts and stuff in my computer. I did use this notebook from that I just brought to donor and would take notes, but as you can see, a lot of it is very disorganized because it was just for myself. I didn't think I was going to be showing this to anybody else. But I did find it, which means now I can go through this, I can find the information that I need, and what I'm looking for is like helpful tips and little mnemonics that I also use to remember all the muscles and stuff, which I think is going to be very helpful. Maybe even more helpful than just me telling them where the origin search and, and whatever is. Um, but yeah, and trying to organize this into somewhat of a chart for them. Final result. It's noon and I'm headed out to school. I did some Anki cards this morning. I went over a couple of PowerPoints. I got all my food prepared to last me the entire day. And so now I'm gonna go ahead to school, close myself off and just study as much as I can. Definitely woke up with the feeling of stress that I had from yesterday. So it's good. I'm gonna try and use it to fuel me and get through a lot of stuff today. Going to work through the illness scripts. 83 new and 400 old cards left. I have a lot to study. I'm not feeling great about a lot of the information. So far, me and Michelle have gone over through like 12 of the cases over brainstem, cerebrum, cerebellum, thalamus, and basal ganglia. I didn't score well on them, so I want to go through these cases again and like pick out the words, the nuclei, the functions, the lesions, and just like go over this information again and make sure that I have this down because we still have a lot more cases to work through, but it's like I'm just falling into this pattern of making the same mistakes and for some reason I'm not learning a lot from each case. And then I have Anki reviews to do for bugs and drugs. I have illness script Anki cards that I still haven't finished. Um, we had a review for radiology and gross anatomy today and that was very helpful. And I also have to review for the surgery club review for tomorrow because I'm honestly having a hard time re-remembering parts of the arm and you know the muscles innervations and such more than I thought I would and I think it's because my brain's just tired and I'm just so stressed with neuro that it's hard for me to focus on that but <sighs> try not to complain there's a lot to study I do still have a lot of time I'm gonna be okay instructional apraxia I would love to be the type of med student that takes really pretty notes in different highlighter and pen colors, but my end notes always end up looking like this, or like this, and yeah. 
going over the illness scripts. Once again, I'm so happy for the people that make stuff like this because this was student made. Someone just made a helpful resource of quick tips on each illness script, which is so nice. 106 slides, very well laid out. I'm gonna go for a run because I'm driving myself crazy sitting. I need to move around. I am feeling uh, better. I think it's starting to stick and I'm starting to remember things, so. I just got ready. I'm gonna head out to go teach the surgery club review. I'm really excited. I was like nervous about it and it was a little tedious to try and relearn the arm, but I'm very excited to teach now. So I hope it goes well and I hope the first years can learn a lot and then I can give them a lot of tips and helpful mnemonics and stuff like that. Yeah. ChatGPT has become my new medical school best friend. I just finished going over the PowerPoint with all the different illness scripts. I honestly think that the Anki cards were the better move for me. Um, better to go card by card by card than just reading the PowerPoint slides. So now I feel like I'm just going to go back to try and finish all the Anki cards that I have for that. Also, surgery review was so fun. I had such a fun time teaching. It's just so enjoyable and it's so cool to see people learning from you and like gaining something from you and it's so nice to be able to give something. And school really doesn't come easy to me, so I put in a lot of work in making sure that I knew everything and that I was ready to be able to teach. <sighs> so I hope it was helpful. <laughs> <laughs> just got back from school it's midnight i got to studying around noon today so basically spent 12 hours at school of course with breaks for food and everything else but quite a long day and i came home to a package and if this is what i think it is this is so exciting especially after such a long day of studying so i'm gonna open it oh my gosh guys it is exactly what i thought it was gonna be look at this it's the emergency department technician help text uh, handbook that i we were working on for so long uh with the hospital that i was a tech at and uh, i was helping make film those videos which is now what two years ago and I helped write one of the chapters and um, look, I'm on the cover. That's me and that's me, which is so funny because that's my boyfriend. So we're both on the cover of this book, which I think is so cute. And look at this. This was my chapter and here I am. Ah, so cool, this is so exciting. <laughs> 